Hey guys, it's Lego Boys E3. Today, I'm going to show you four lick glass layer on the Mega Mings. So basically, what four lick glass layer is, is it's an intermediate method of doing the last layer on the Mega Minx, and it requires four steps. The first one is EO, or edge orientation, where you orient all of the edges, like this. The second one is CO, where you orient all of the corners, like this, so now it's all one even color on this side. The next one after that is EP, or edge permutation, where you permute all of the edges. So now all the edges are in the right place next to their centers. And then finally the very last step is CP, or corner permutation, where you permute all of the corners. Okay, so starting off with EO, we're going to try and get all the gray edge pieces facing up. And so this is very similar to this step on a 3x3. And so you'll probably know the one algorithm already, where you do F, R, U, R prime, U prime. F prime and it solves the line case and there's also one other case that you might not know on a 3x3 which is when you have an L case like this and in this case you just do F and then instead of doing R U R prime U prime you do U R U prime R prime and then F prime and so as you know it's very similar on a Megaminx if you have a line case like this you just want to do F R U R prime U prime F prime and then you have EO complete and now here's the one thing you probably don't know. If you have this one case right here, this is equivalent to an L case on a 3x3. And so the way I taught it in my beginner's method is to just do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime twice. But instead what you can do is you can do that algorithm that I showed in the 3x3, which is F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And then finally there is one more case, which is basically just a dot case where you have one piece sticking off like this. And there's no one really good algorithm for this, just like on a 3x3. You just kind of have to do one algorithm adjust and then do the next one and so it's very similar on this one i like to just hold it to the left like this do that algorithm turn it around like this and then do the other algorithm and that works just fine for me you can do whatever you want as long as you can do it efficiently in two algorithms and yeah that's all of the eo cases okay so now on to ceo this one is a little bit tricky because there are a lot of different ways you can do it you can either learn an algorithm for every single case, which I don't really recommend doing, or you can just do it the beginner's method and build on algorithms as you go. But today I'm just going to be showing you the beginner way to do it, and you should already know exactly how to do this if you've seen my 3x3 tutorial or my Megamix tutorial, the beginner one. Basically what you do is for every single piece, uh, you just do R prime D prime R D, like that. You can also, if the piece is facing towards you, the yellow side, you can do the inverse of that algorithm. And so the normal algorithm, you also don't have to do the inverse of the algorithm. If that confuses you a little bit, you can just do R prime D prime R D every single time until all the pieces are solved like that. Of course, it's very similar on a Mega Minx. You should already know exactly how to do this. If you are watching this tutorial, you do R prime D prime R D for these pieces. And if it's facing towards you, you can do the inverse. You also don't have to do the inverse. You can just do R prime D prime R D until it ends up working. And the same thing with the last piece. And you just go around the cube until they're all oriented like that. Now, if you are looking to get a little bit faster at this step, there are quite a few cases where you can just use a standard 3x3 algorithm to solve it. And so that one you can solve on a Megaminx like this, just using the standard 3x3 algorithm. Also, this case right here, where you have these two pieces, you can solve like this. This case with these two pieces, you can solve like this. And also, if you have four pieces with double headlights like this, you can do the standard oops algorithm like that. I'm not going to tell you those algorithms because if you're at the point where you want to improve like that, those algorithms should all be pretty familiar to you already from the 3x3. So now we can begin on with the next step. Okay, so for edge permutation, the concept is pretty similar, but there might be some algorithms that you might not know. And so basically what you want to do is line up each of these edges with their respective centers without messing up what you already have for OLL. And so basically we want to find which ones are already in the right place. So we have one of them there, but none other ones. So we want to do a U move, look around the cube, none of them lined up. And here we go, we have two of them lined up, so this is good. Now I recommend holding it like this on the front and the left while you're checking what case you have. So basically you'll look at these three other edge pieces and see which direction they need to go. And so in this case they need to rotate clockwise. And basically the way that I check that is I look at the piece in the back right here, and I see if it needs to move over to this. And so green's right here, and it does need to move over to green. So we have the first case, which is the clockwise case. And so this case is exactly a J perm. So on a 3x3, basically just this algorithm. You'll probably know this already, but if you don't, it is R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, 
u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime and there we go now ep is correct and so now in the case that you have the same case where you have two of them adjacent but these pieces do not need to go clockwise so you look at this piece and it does not need to go over here that means it needs to go counterclockwise and so this case is just a y perm and so this is a y perm on a 3x3 and so what you need to do is rotate the cube like this so the piece will now be in the front and the right the solved ones and you do this f r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime and there we go now ep is also complete okay so here's where the new algorithms come in so we're checking our case we have one there keep turning here we go now we have two of them but they're across from each other instead of adjacent to each other so what we want to do is we want to hold it like this so one's kind of in the back right and one's in the front and we check to see which direction these remaining three pieces need to go in and so in this case it needs to go clockwise and basically I checked that by looking at this piece and seeing if it needs to move over to here and so in this case this is tan and this needs to move over to tan and so in the case that it is clockwise like this what you want to do is r2 u2 prime r2 prime u prime r2 u2 prime r2 prime and so basically an easy way to remember that is all the u moves so you have the u2 prime the u prime and the u2 prime are all counterclockwise moves and so if the pieces need to move clockwise you do all counterclockwise u moves and the same thing goes for the opposite of that if the three pieces need to move counterclockwise so i look at this piece look over here it's not right pink does not need to go to this color so what we do is r2 u2 r2 prime u r2 u2 r2 prime you do all clockwise moves if the pieces need to move counterclockwise now finally there is one more case basically when you're checking what case you have you have one here turn it one here turn it one here you can never get two of them at a time it's always just one of them and there's nothing you can do about it and so basically what you want to do is just do any algorithm that i just showed you so i'll just choose a j perm oops i messed that up and then you look at what case you have and so now we have the clockwise case of this one and so now we can do that algorithm so basically you just need to do one algorithm and then look at what case you have and then do another algorithm okay so finally the last step cp so this one is actually kind of similar to the beginner's method of doing co where you just kind of orient all the corners one at a time but instead of doing r prime d prime rd over and over again until you get the piece oriented you just do it once and so you do r prime d prime r you don't really have to do the last D move, you can, but it doesn't really make sense to. So R prime D prime R. But first, we're going to look at what piece we have right there. So it should be an unsolved one. So we have orange and green. So now we can do R prime D prime R. And then we move the top layer over until we find the orange and green slot. And so here's the orange and green slot. And we want to put that piece that we just picked up into its correct spot. And so what we want to do is the inverse of those three moves. So you kind of want to alternate doing the normal moves and then the inverse. And so the inverse of that is R prime D R. And there we go. Now that piece is in the right spot. And so in the meantime, we picked up this piece, which is blue and orange. And what we want to do is find the blue and orange slot, move the U move over until you get to that spot. And we want to do the normal algorithm again, R prime D prime R. There we go. Now we picked up this piece over here. We want to move it back to the correct spot. And we do R prime D R. Now I realized that was probably really confusing for some of you guys who have never done this before so I'm just going to do it again and so basically we'll start off with this piece it is this tan color and blue we do R prime D prime R we move it over until we get to the tan and blue spot right here we do R prime D R instead of D prime we picked up this piece right here so we want to move it over to this slot R prime D prime R we picked up this piece down here and so we want to move over to the spot that this one goes in r prime d r the inverse of it we picked up this piece right here and so we want to move over to the slot that it goes into r prime d prime r and finally we picked up this piece which should be the one that we started with and so we do r prime d r 
And so it's basically just cycling the corner pieces around the cube. And so if you don't understand that completely, I would recommend picking up a Mega Minx and doing exactly what I'm doing and figuring out how it affects the pieces and just kind of learning from that. But there is actually one more case that's a little bit trickier. So what we do is we start off doing R prime, D prime, R. We picked up the pink and green piece so we can move over to the pink and green slot. We go over here, R prime, D, R. And now we picked up this piece, which is the one that we actually started with. And now we do R prime, D, R. But we're actually at the starting spot now. We're at the end of the cycle, but it's not solved yet down here and the other pieces aren't solved. And so what we want to do is just continue on with our cycle to start off with any of these other ones that you want to. And now we can continue doing R prime, D, R. Go over to the next one where this piece needs to go. Uh, it's blue and tan, so it needs to go in the blue and tan spot. We do R prime, D prime, R. And then finally, we picked up this piece. We can move it over into its correct spot. R prime, D, R. And now we can just AUF until we're at the solved position. But yeah, that's pretty much how you solve the last layer of Omega Minx in a kind of intermediate way. If you didn't really understand that last step, because I realized it was the most confusing step probably, you can practice doing it on a 3x3. And so you have this piece here, R prime, D, R. This one right here, R prime, D, R. This piece right here, R prime, D prime, R, and then back over to this piece like that. You can practice doing that on a 3x3. Basically, just walk through with what I did and try and recreate that on your Mega Minx and figure out how it works if you don't really understand it. And if there's anything else that you need help with with anything that I showed in this tutorial, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And I'll see you guys next time.